Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. Over the last couple of videos we've been looking at making developers. In particular we've made two developers. A pyro based developer called 510 pyro and a metal based developer called D23. Both of these developers are excellent and we're going to be looking at them closely over the next few weeks. But before we can develop a film we're going to need a fixer. Now pyro requires an alkaline fixer to maintain maximum stain. And Metol doesn't mind either way. So today we're going to make an alkaline fix called TF2. What are we going to need to make this? Well, we're going to need sodium thiosulfate. This is the pentahydrate crystalline version of sodium thiosulfate. We're going to need sodium sulfite. We used that already making the D23. And we're going to need sodium metaborate. This can be hard to get hold of outside of the United States. And so I'll give you a tip on how to make this for your alkaline fix. We're also going to need water to dissolve it all in. Here we have water. I've got about 600 to 700 milliliters of water, warm water. It's around 40 centigrade in there. We're going to need a stirring stick. We're going to need our teaspoon measurements because I'm assuming that many of you don't have scales. So let's use these and something to level the teaspoons off with. Here we are. Now I've already pre-measured the sodium thiosulfate and this is 250 grams of the thiosulfate pentahydrate and that was 12 tablespoons. Let's measure out the sodium sulfite. So with this we need 15 grams or one and a half teaspoons. So we'll get our one and a half teaspoons. There we are. And a half teaspoon. Is here. And you saw in the D23 video how to use these teaspoons. So I won't explain that again. So that's our one and a half teaspoons or 15 grams of the sulfite. Now sodium metaborate, we need 10 grams of this, which is two teaspoons. Let's try not to get any big lumps in there. Pop it in that too. Two teaspoons of this or 10 grams. There we are. A little bit more. It's a bit short on that one. 10 grams. Now, what if you're outside the US and you can't get hold of sodium metaborate? At least in UK, I can't get hold of this. And I've looked around at many sites in Europe as well, and they don't sell this. Well, it's quite simple. We would add one and a half teaspoons of borax, which is seven grams, and quarter of a teaspoon of sodium hydroxide. That's one and a half grams. So here we have our chemicals already. So we'll start by adding the sodium thiosulfate. And just get the rest of that out there. And just stir that in. And this is also known as hypo sodium thiosulfate. And it's been a fixer for films and papers forever. It doesn't work as well with the newest tabular grain films, such as Ilfa Delta and the T-Max films. It takes a long time to fix those. So for those, you'd want a rapid fixer. But I stick with the more traditional films. I like the more traditional films such as Ilford FP4 and Pan F and HP5. They have a classic look for me that I love. And of course they also use these simple chemicals. So they're easier for me 
to make. So there we have that. It's all in and dissolved. So now we're going to add our sodium sulfite and our sodium metaborate. Just pop them in like that. And dissolve those in. This really is easy to do, isn't it? You can make a fixer up like this just before you're out to use it. You don't have to wait the 24 hours that I usually recommend for developers. I can tell they're dissolved when I can't feel any grit anymore at the bottom of this jug. This is working strength, so I won't dilute this when I use it. And when I fix a film with it, I will fix the film for twice the clearing time. Well, we've seen that in a previous video, but I'll show you again when we develop the next film. There we are. That is all dissolved. Now I'm going to get a little bit of water. So let's just top this up to a one litre. And there we have it. Our own alkaline fix, which will work with pyro developers such as 510 Pyro, Pyrocat HD, or PMK, and work with any other normal developer too, Metol, Phenidone based, it doesn't matter. It'll work with films and it will fix 20 films or thereabouts, or 40 sheets of 10 by 8 paper. Okay, so here we have a bottle. I'll make sure I decant it into a PET bottle. And I'll mark the bottle up. Alkaline fix. And I'll put a little squirt of butane on the top of it, just to make sure that no oxygen can get to this fixer. It'll last about two months. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe, like the video so the algorithm of YouTube spreads the word. Bye for now.